Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Skies of Arcadia, and I bought some more stuff, I've got no money left, because I keep buying stuff. So, I bought Vice and Drachma new equipment, uh, Valuan armor, as opposed to the Valuan uniform, which is what Aka has equipped at the moment, or she just has sailor uniform. So what can I... I actually can't equip anything on her that will work. So yeah, we have... Yeah, or... Yeah. So... We've basically got the best of everyone. Uh, there's new equipment for everyone. Bow and armor, drachma shirt, sailor uniform. So... And I got a new weapon for Aka and a new equipment for Aka. Or new, uh, accessory. We got her the Veluarang. Light boomerang used to practice for the annual boomerang contest in the Valuan Coliseum. Which is just a little bit better than the throwing blade so you can get the throwing blade or you can save up for both I had the money because I did a little bit of farming so and then we got her mages bane which lowered her quick by two but it raised her attack defense will and magic by four so that that was a really good trade-off in my opinion so that's what I did off screen also we're gonna find that treasure chest that I kept looking for which is actually over this way we go over here and go behind here, it's actually underneath the residential building, not inside. And it's two Sacred Crystals. So that's always a plus. So we got some stuff. I'm going to have to farm some more just to get some more money because I'm, I'm out. And where we're going is we're going to go down here and there's a kid there. We are going to get into a scripted cutscene the second we walk down here. Who are you? Do you just always address random people on the street of who are you? We're s what? Why, why would we be stupid? We're just looking for, you know, a dock. <laughs> Aren't we a little obnoxious? Yeah, I can't imagine Vice was ever as annoying as this kid. Name's Marco. Uh, Marco Polo. Haha, <laughs> jokes. I, I don't care if everyone in town knows who you are. I've got a sword. Do you, do you want to have a conversation with it? <laughs> I'll remember this fool. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't understand what in the blue hell you're trying to say. So, uh, now that we've had a little conversation with Marco, we can get on the elevator. And we can ride it down to the even lower section of Lower City. That's seems a little redundant, doesn't it? You've got upper, lower, lower, lower. So, yeah. And now we are in another section of Lower City, and there's actually something here, which is what we will want. So, yeah. Uh, also, the other two accessories that we could buy in the shop, the Lover's Ring and the Purity Ring, or Gem of Purity, uh, this is the only place you can get them. So, if you want them, you can get them here, but I'm really not all that interested in them. So, where? Oh, I've got to go down the ladder. Okay. So, we are looking for a Moonberry. Uh, the Inn. Travel down the sidewalk until after the second ladder. Okay. So that, I assume, was the first ladder. And I can't see where in the hell I'm going because I'm running toward the camera. That's one thing I don't like about this game is the early, early camera. Alright, so second ladder. Go all the way down. I assume this is the second ladder. And we're looking for oil drops. I assume that's... okay, yeah. 
And a secret passage. And we're out here, and there it is! Moonberry! Alright, so now we're going to go back to the inn, because that's where we need to go to actually progress the story, because we are going to start doing some clandestine things. Uh, wherever the inn is. I think I've already passed it. Uh, let's see. The inn... Okay, yeah, it just says the inn is here. I don't... I assume it's actually not down there, because there's nothing that looks like buildings on the map down there that I could go to. So we're going to go back up here to one of these buildings. It's probably the first one. Knowing... Knowing how games like this work. So, either that or it's not there. Can't do anything there, so. Ah, oh, God, I hate this place. It's just so terrible to navigate. Alright. If I were the inn, I imagine I would be this big building at the very beginning that we ran into. Yes! So now that we're in the inn, and we're going to stay the night. So, yeah, if you want to pick up those accessories, you can. I'm just... it's 80 gold. I don't even think I have 80 gold. Yes, you can... <laughs> We're gonna make Drachma pay for the room. Even though we don't have the money for it, because he's part of our party. Anyway. But you have to be able to, you know, use the room, so it's like, if you don't have the money, uh, I guess that's... Yeah, we haven't really been relaxing at all. We fought pirates and almost got killed by a whale. Yeah, you kind of need rest, otherwise you're going to be useless, you know, in a fight. Cramped on a hammock in the engine room. So uh, loud and old. And there's Drachma. He just in time to hear us insult the ship. Ah, uh, you're just a ray of sunshine as always. Uh, what? <gasps> Uh-oh. Execution tomorrow. Tomorrow at dawn at the Colosseum between Lower City and Upper City, they will be executed. Alright, so we have another swashbuckler event. We have Let's Try to in, uh, si let's try to Save Everyone Right Now. Let's Sneak Into the Colosseum. Hmm, I don't know. So this is one where some of these will actually lower your, your swashbuckler rating. Some of them will just keep them whatever it currently is. And some will keep increase it. So if you actually choose, I don't know, it'll lower your rating. Let's try and save everyone is actually neutral. And the correct answer is, let's sneak into the Coliseum. Clandestine meetings. <gasps> Vice has a point. Like, we have nowhere... We, we don't know where they're being held. We have no starting point. Our best bet is to wait to know where they're going to be, which we already know that. I mean, we could just sneak into the Coliseum tonight and try to hide out, but there might be guards, so... Uh, 
That's our plan. We'll break into the Colosseum and rescue everybody. Huh? Except someone's been listening. It's that kid! Is it the kid? Looked like it was the kid. Ha! Oh my god! Yeah, it's the kid. But Aka's got super strength to just launch Vice into the air like that. That's, uh... That's impressive. Alright, so now we gotta catch him. And in order to catch him, we have to... Actually catch up to him. And... There we go. I mean, you could go either way, but it's... We've caught up to him just in time, and... Yoink! <laughs> and Vice is apparently super strong to lift a child up with... You glass eye oh. It's not a glass eye. It's just a goggle. Learn the difference, kid. Uh, no. Well, you told me to put you down. At least I don't have hair like a scarecrow. This kid is just endearing himself to us in so many ways, isn't he? I like Drachma's like, you really want to do that? You're right, no one would care. You're born a street rat, you'll die a street rat, and only your fleas will mourn you. That's a kind of depressing way of looking at it. I like how Drachma is just completely ready to just, I'm gonna end you. There's catacombs under the city. I live in the sewers like a ninja turtle. Except not nearly as cool. Yep. We're gonna sneak in. Because we're gonna rescue our friends, you little brat. Yeah. It's too rough. I can't do it. I suck. I want my mommy. I like the I want my mommy. That's that's good advice. Listen up, kid, you can either man up and deal with it, or you can just be the, you know, completely defeatist little punk that you are. Yeah, I was almost killed by a whale like 20 minutes ago. Come on. <laughs> actually, probably closer to 40 minutes ago, but you know what I'm trying to say. Well, actually, Marco doesn't know what I'm trying to say, apparently. Yeah, you're gonna lead us there. Oh, fight! Okay, so this is one of those times that Vice can just be a complete badass. It's like, you're gonna come with us. If you obviously don't care about living or dying, at least uh, you'll be put to good use before you die by helping us rescue our friends. Now we had a plan. With our objective in mind, we hurried back to the end, curled into our soft, warm beds, and were fast asleep. That's... oh. I wonder if they... did they have Marcos stay with them? Either we all go home, or none of us do. I like how Drachman's like, well, I, I, I don't want to be a part of this. Alright, so we want to go back all the way down to the sewer entrance, which 
Vice took the shortcut last night of, you know, hopping from rooftop, from rooftop, you know, like Spider-Man or something. I don't, I don't, I couldn't think of a good simile for that, but we got to take the long way around, which involves terrible navigation because of a, a really unfriendly camera. So... Uh, but I do love this game. It's a fantastic Dreamcast RPG. And third ladder, which is where the sewer entrance is. Right here. Hop in the sewers, Vice. I'm gonna start calling Vice Leonardo. I mean, he's wearing blue. Alright, so we're in a dungeon. And the catacombs, there's a lot of treasures here. Oh my god, there's a lot of treasures here. But this is a dungeon, so there will be random encounters here. I'm looking forward to it. Because at least then I'll get to keep some fights in, because, you know... We haven't been in a fight. And here's a fight, because I hear the Dreamcast spinning up. We'll leave... Because there's a lot of really new bad guys. And it's a, a dungeon that you can enter again. So... Oh, oh, back attack. That's probably not good. Alright, and a new spell, Electri. Not too damaging, but it's probably the first yellow spell we've encountered, I believe. And like Aka's uh, Alpha Storm, it attacks linearly. So anything in a line, it will hit. And it... Oh, you can cast Eternity? That's not good. That's silver magic. That can instantly kill. Thankfully, it doesn't have a high proc rate, but we don't want to mess with that. So, we are going to fight, and these guys are of a green element, and the bats are of a purple. So, I'm pretty sure if I were to cast fire, that would actually do well. Or, oh, I hate that Webley is only one. Uh, we'll do Pyre... Uh, we'll do Alpha Storm, because if I aim it there, it should hit the bulk of them. And... I don't have enough spirit to do quick... Okay. And we'll just have you attack him. And even with two, uh... Two spirit down, she still has an... Oh, well that attacked everyone. That was... That was fantastic. Huh, that was easy. And I should probably change off of blue because I'm pretty sure everyone's got what they need for blue for now. Oh, okay, almost. Vice needs to learn, and then I can switch to. Looks like green will be the next best one. And there's a ladder here. And incredibly loud water. Fantastic. Hey! Now we get to walk around in muck. So, obviously nothing that way. And we'll go this way, down the corridor. And see what we can find. And a battle! Cause I love that I can hear, like, Oh, I know there's gonna be a battle, because the Dreamcast is spinning. Uh, is this anything new, or...? Because there's... Okay, yeah, new bad guys. And we get a preemptive attack. Fantastic. Uh, we've got Wevly. I'm going to ca cast Wevly on one of them so that we can see what happens. And I can't do anything else. Because I don't have... Why do I not have any spirit? Or is Wevly cast si at six? Fantastic. Then I'm not going to... Oh no, I only have four. Why did I have eight the last time and only four now? Uh, anyway, I'm going to attack and Alpha Storm those guys. And... 
Okay, one hit kill them, that's fantastic. And just skip that. Because we don't need to see Alpha Storm over and over again. That is fantastic that special attacks are skippable, so... Attack! Huh, that was easy. That was easy, Vice. That was easy. And... Almost for Vice. So, I actually think I'm gonna end it here, cause I've got a lot of this dungeon left. And I'm at, you know, 21 minutes, so I'm gonna go, and I will see you guys in the next installment. So tell them later, everyone.